Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to our Two Point Campus Let's Play, where we're returning to Piazza Lanatra to see just how many stars we can get. Three. We're, we're gonna get all three stars, I have like no doubt about it. We almost got our first star last session, but we have a cook-off that we need to host, and we just ran out of time during the current academic year to host it. Not too worried though, because the current year is going to wrap up shortly, and soon after year three kicks off, we're going to have the students cook off to get us that first star, and then I'm sure the next two will be just an absolute breeze, right? While we're doing all that, of course, we want to keep average grades high, we want to keep average student happiness high, and we want to keep hopes high as well. With all that said, folks, just as a reminder, the Two Point Campus series is now entering a new schedule. We're going to be having a new episode release every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday going forward at around the same time as this episode released today, which is around the same time as all the previous episodes have been releasing as well. I know a few of you in the comments of the previous session did say you were hoping for more episodes per week, but for now, I think by and large, most of y'all were okay with three episodes a week, so we're going to stick with that. But of course, and as always, I am open to thoughts and opinions in the comments down below, so feel free to leave them. If you have been enjoying this series, if you want to see it continue to completion, please never hesitate to hit that like button either because it really lets me know that folks are interested and that I should keep something going and how I should approach content on the channel. One last thing to mention, if you've been enjoying the game and you want to actually pick it up for yourself and you haven't already done so, if you use the link in the description and pinned comment down below, you'll actually be getting the game while supporting the channel as well. Never an obligation, of course, feel free to get it wherever and however you want, but if you wanted to support the channel as you bought the game, those are the links to use. They're the same link in the description and the pinned comment, but they're in two places because why not? With that said, folks, and no more time to waste, let's go ahead and dive on in to see just how we tackle the stars at Piazza Lenatra. All right, let's see. We've got uh, immediately, right off the bat, demands coming through about an SU party request. I believe that was left over from, from last time, if memory serves me correctly. Yes, this request has been around for uh, for like a third of a year already. That's okay. We'll, we'll have one organized uh, for the next academic year because we don't have time. I mean, I guess we could host a party right at the end of July, but that's there's no point because all the benefits of that party will be, you know, gone by the time they're back for the next academic year so they can they can wait there's also again as i was saying the campus cook-off that we need to pull off but again there's no uh, pull off like the like peel off oh my goodness there was a there was an opportunity there anyway uh there's the campus cook-off that we have to pull off uh, but we can't do it this year there's not enough time so again next year maybe we start the school year with that maybe we have it during the uh the winter break perhaps Either way, I'm not too worried again about that one star. I'm not too worried about the uh, SU party request either. We'll have that happening in uh, no time. And by no time, I mean a handful of months. Uh, we're good to wrap up the year, though, I think. So let's go ahead and uh, move time along. Keep an eye out for any other requests that uh, that come up. Uh, we did, of course, at the end of last session, like literally one of the last things we did was accept this... Uh, uh, this objective, this side objective, which should give us some additional kudosh when it's uh, done. I should probably get some more janitors, though. Many of you have been mentioning for many of the episodes prior that uh, I, I really need more janitors, and I absolutely agree. It keeps slipping my mind, and I'm not sure what a dirty snake, what does that even mean? Um, it keeps slipping my mind, and, uh, and I really need to stay on top of that because uh, it's so easy to think, oh yeah, you know, we've got We've got five janitors, five janitors, that's enough for, wait, hang on a second, this is a campus with two massive buildings, that's not enough for anything, so, like, it, it's, it, uh, you know, that sense of scale for some reason disappears when I'm looking at, uh, at the screen. But either way, let's go ahead and get this, uh, this one as well, Lauren Bulge over here, with the, uh, the higher maintenance skill, that's, that's what I'm looking for, by the way, with the previous, uh, person we hired as well. Let's we'll go ahead and get you in there, and, uh, we're going to be making some major adjustments um, during the summer break this year, I definitely want to uh, definitely want to rearrange some of these structures. We're of course going to need some more classrooms as well for the next batch of students that are coming in, and uh, we're probably going to want to rearrange maybe the dorms a little bit as well. This is kind of awkward, so I think we'll rework some of these, and we'll uh, we'll 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 figure out some more details about um, beautifying the spaces as well. There's a lot of uh, expenses coming up. Uh, during the summer break, which is why, just as a reminder, I have not paid back the balance on this loan. We, we can afford it for sure, we can afford it and then some, but just in case the uh, the summer break ends up being too expensive, I want to make sure we hold on to that, and, and if at the end of the summer break we see that we're perfectly fine as far as uh, funds are concerned, we'll go ahead and repay that loan and stop the uh, the monthly drain. It's costing us 2000 per month in the current state, right? So that's not ideal. Oh! Showtime. 
again, just as a reminder, we'd arranged for this, uh, this, uh, comedy movie showing, 23 Jump Street, Chef's School. Of course, the maintenance guy decides to, well, come on, there's a, there's a show going, now's not the time, now's not the time. Uh, this is pretty good, actually, it's a, it's a huge turnout, it's a massive turnout. And all these folks are going to have their, I mean, their happiness is already maxed out pretty much. This was really just a treat, just a mini treat before the last couple of classes of the uh, semester. And I, I don't think it was necessary. Again, most of their moods are pretty high up. Most of their learning rates are through the roof. Most of them are actually walking out in the middle of the movie because they have to make it to class. But overall, I think it's uh, it, it's doing its job. I mean, geez, this guys, is happiness is through the roof. I mean, again, remember, it's not just about education. It's about everything else as well, right? I mean... Keeping them happy is a good thing in general. It shouldn't just be about grades. And on top of that, of course, I say that, but I, well, what I'm really thinking is the happier they are, the more likely we are to win some awards at the uh, at the end of the year. If we can make them even happier during that end of stretch there, it could work out quite nicely for us. Again, winning those uh, campus awards or the, the, you know, the various school awards are just a good and easy way to get some additional kudosh, which we need for like literally everything, right? We, we have only 75 right now. Of course, there are some career goals that we could, um, uh, that we could like claim, I guess is the word the game uses. So it's the word that I should be using as well. There are some career goals that we can claim for sure, but uh, I like to leave those for desperate times and desperate measures. By the way, I don't think we've spent enough time looking at uh, at the, uh, the dessert, um, uh, the, the dessert, prep room this the what's it called the sweet kitchen ah the oh my goodness i didn't realize this thing was called the patisserie the patisserie oh that's that's good stuff that's good stuff that's good stuff uh but yes the sweet kitchen is what i was is the word i was actually looking for um thank you by the way for those of you that explained exactly what we were looking at during that previous session i don't remember the name of the dessert but a few of you identified it, uh, I can only assume accurately because quite a few of you got to that same, uh, the same, you know, uh, conclusion or suggestion. So thank you very much. I'm always looking to learn more, so I will try and memorize it because I'm not familiar with that dessert as, uh, at all. Regardless of how much, uh, Bake Off I might, I might watch, I don't think I've seen, uh, I've seen one of those yet. Oh, this is looking really delicious. Oh, man. <laughs> the Sweet Kitchen is a lot of fun. I mean... All the classrooms are a lot of fun, let's be real. Uh, the animations that happen, especially around the main, um, the, 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 the main, uh, like, items are, are so, like, just entertaining and inventive. Uh, but the other ones are, are fun as well. They have the little quirks and they're, 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 they're cartoonish animations. They're always a good time. But these, uh, these main, uh, elements are just beautiful. A's for a lot of folks over here. What I should have been doing, what I should have been doing, rather than admiring the works of our students, is I should have been looking at the, uh, current grades and sending some of the less capable uh, to private tuition. Let's go ahead and send you over. Got to be over there. I'm not too concerned about the money making based off of their XP going up. I'm more concerned about getting their grades up, though I think I'm just a little too late, to be honest. Uh, they're not going to get a session done uh, at this point in time. So maybe I should just... Okay, I gave Naughty... <laughs> hey, Naughty Brick. I'm not gonna forget him, am I? Uh, I gave him the uh, the order already, or the uh, the request, I should call it, uh, already. So uh, so I'll leave that be. But for everybody else, let's just let them chill and vibe at the end of the year and have a wonderful wonderful time, hopefully, and just be happy in general. This is our statement. That's okay. Gastronomy open day. Yes, please come through. Three applicants will come through to check us out, and hopefully they'll they'll rate us well. We'll get that kudosh. Uh, frog rain coming through. That's okay. All good, and the SU party again is going to be coming next year. So let's move towards that next year. Overall, I think students are doing okay. More people joining this Power Nap Club. Very few, I think, have joined the um, the uh, the Power Walker, Power Speed Walking Club. I was thinking Power Walking, Power Nap. Uh, either way, um, I might need another assistant there, especially as the years go on, because we're going to get a lot more students coming through, and we're just going to have more messes to deal with, uh, more uh, more more classes to. Uh, offer and, and everything it's gonna get wild and I'm actually going to I think yes reduce the size of this uh, 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 tuition tuition room tu tuition room yeah that, that word's gonna take some time still uh, I'm gonna increase or rather I'm gonna decrease the size of it and increase the number of them so we can have multiple students getting private tutoring at the same time there'll be less prestigious spaces uh, so maybe their learning rates won't be as good but uh, I think overall we'll have better coverage as a result now 
the academic year is over. Let's go ahead and view the awards and hope we've won our fair share, shall we? The end of year two. The end of year two. I was actually expecting to have that first star by now, so I'm a little surprised. It's just because it slipped my mind that we needed to book so much time off for that uh, cook-off. But that's okay. That's okay. That's not what today's about. Today's about us having a 100% pass rate. The average exam result is 85%. I would have loved to get charts, actually. I really want to know, like last year, where it, I think it was 82% last year. So it's just nice to see. I, I'm, I'm a sucker for a good graph, so it would have been nice to see. But either way, everyone passed. That's fantastic. Uh, we have won the Campus of the Year Award, 74% average environment attractiveness, 5 average room prestige, not too shabby. We, that's it? Oh. Well, we also got the Student Choice Award, which is a result of happiness, so that's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, if we were a bit more on the ball with getting private tutoring done, uh, we might have actually uh, got uh, Best Teacher as well. Uh, and some of these, of course, we can't even do until we unlock various uh, capabilities in later uh, later levels, but that's okay. I'm decently pleased with how that went. Summer break is here, and it is time to prepare for an additional savory kitchen and an additional science lab. It looks like we don't need any additional teachers, but I think we all know that that's not actually true because the moment we put uh, well, the moment we start the new year, uh, it's going to say, hey, you need people for private tutoring. Where, where'd your tutors go, right? So uh, don't don't believe don't believe the game's lies. Let's go ahead and actually take a look at the available options here. Ooh, now that is a teacher. Level three, that's 90% teaching skill. Uh, yes, Penny Champion, a true champion. Let's get uh, let's get you in here. Oh, poor personal hygiene. That's questionable in a kitchen, but that's okay. Rapid, used it, didn't lose it. Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and pop you in here. Just adding one more to our, uh, to our, you know, slew of teachers that we have. New applicant is about to come up over here. We'll leave, we'll leave these be banoffee. That's pretty good. Uh, excellent personal hygiene. The polar opposite of the previous hire. We'll fast them. All right, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll leave them as they are. We might need some more janitors soon as well. Again, many of you have pointed out quite rightfully so that our, we have so many like plants and just things that need maintenance, uh, that we, we, we don't have enough. We just don't have enough. Let's go ahead and get you, because you're fast and you've got decent uh, maintenance skill. And we'll go ahead and get one more. Because yes, I am absolutely looking to level up the campus too at the same time. Where did you go? There you are. That's a lot of things. They're not all necessarily, you know, the most important things, but let's go for it. Good stuff. Campus level 10. Why don't we take a look at the uh, course management over here? We can, of course, add, again, I, I shouldn't keep mentioning this and I apologize that I do. We can add different courses if we want to. I don't think we'll do that just quite yet. I think we'll stick with gastronomy. Let's go ahead and level up to level four. Ah, that's too bad. I was hoping we'd have enough to get to level five, but of course we don't. Uh, but if we get to level four, that is, look at that increase in tuition fees. Look at that. But look at that increase in student numbers as well. We're already going to have 45 students because of the new batch joining us. Uh, but with this increase, we'll have up to 54. Obviously that is a lot. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and reduce the intake over here. Uh, drop it by four. Is that four? Uh, that's one too many. I lost count. My, my apologies. The reason why I'm doing that is because uh, then we'll have a higher average learning rate for all these new students. Uh, the only thing I have to keep in mind is, of course, the way the balance tips as far as our literal balance. We'll be making when our current year graduates and the next year graduates, when this batch is the quote-unquote only batch left in, they're a smaller batch. And so, of course, you know, there are fewer students paying tuition and all that. But of course, we can counteract that by having larger batches come in after this batch. Either way, I think uh, I think this is good because that's a that's a higher, significantly higher average learning rate. And I quite like that. Um, our, yeah, we're looking fine as far as the tuition is concerned. And we're looking fine. At, oh, geez. That's actually not amazing. A estimated... Uh, profit loss of only so many digits is a little concerning. And it looks like we still, according to the game, only need two additional rooms and uh, no additional teachers. But again, I, I don't think that's true. I think we will need... Oh, actually, at this point, we might not because we have we, we hired two more teachers. Well, at least one of them might be spare, actually. Am I pleased with these adjustments? That's the question. Or do I want more students? The reason why I think 50 is a nice... Well, first of all, it's a nice round number. It also just means that we need 10 beds to cover all of our students. And I think I'm comfortable with being able to fit that in our current student um, student center. So sure, you know what, let's stick with that for now. Go ahead and confirm that. Beautiful. I uh, just wanna to check to make sure next year's students, didn't we? 
Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's gone through. I noticed that number change as I hit confirm. We'll see what happens, I guess. Of 16. We'll, okay, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm not going to make a big... Like, I'm not going to spend too much time thinking about that because, you know what, what's happened has happened. Um, but uh, we'll see what that actually ends up meaning, I guess. Maybe I'm just uh, maybe I'm just out of it. Either way, let's go ahead and do some of that construction I was talking about, right? We have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four beds per uh, dorm. So four times five is 20, right? Um, four times five is 20. Correct. I can do mathematics. Um, 4 times 5 is 20. That means together we have 40 uh, sleeping spots over here. What do I want to do here? What I'm thinking is, what if we get... What if we get some smaller dorms? Don't want them to be too much smaller, because again, prestige matters. We want students to uh, pay decent rent, right? So what I'm thinking is, what if we do this kind of a thing? Go 3. Put the door down here. And then we'll get the, uh, sure, the, the little, uh, oh, what's the word? It's, it's escaping me. The wardrobe. I was like, it's not a cupboard. What's the word? Uh, put you in the corner over there. Excellent. We need a bed, of course. Get the bed. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to get, what I'm thinking is we do, like, you'll see what, you'll see what I'm getting at. Bed and bed, right? And then we'll get the double jump bed in here as well. So this is like, you know, in theory... I guess this is a more intimate room, but the way the students will actually use it, as you can see over here, they'll they'll use it as they want. And it looks like they are actually able to use the um, the, the the double jump bed to sleep in too. So our numbers should be fine. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times five is fifty. That should cover all of our students. And based on the forty-five I was seeing earlier, and then some. Uh, let's go ahead and put this up over here. That's a good spot for it. Let's go ahead and get the bedside table down over here. There we go. Again, just trying to get that prestige at a decent point. Regardless of uh, of how many beds are in a dorm, I want them to be relatively prestigious dorms, of course. I'm going to put this by the door, roughly. Yeah, there you go. Got a bin in there as well, of course. Got to get that iHeart uh, two-point banner up, too. And not have that. Uh, and why don't we go ahead and see... Right, some windows. Put that right in the middle. Uh, these windows are here. We've got these windows here. Many of you are mentioning that, uh, right, this is kind of creepy. Uh, and I wholeheartedly agree. Let's go ahead and get rid of these windows that are looking from... Oh, no. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. God. <laughs> Oops. Put that back down. Uh, these windows that are looking from one... There we go. Uh, bedroom into the other are, yes, infinitely creepy. And they were not my intent. Uh, left them there by accident. <laughs> Oops. A very, very major accident. Um, you over here, or... I guess that's the only window we can really have over here if the bed stays... Well, no, you know, you can you can always do... Uh, I guess I can't put the bed over here. Fair enough. Or the, the window over here, because this one's too tight. It wants me to do that, and then it'll let me do... Where are you? That and that. In which case, let's go ahead and move this so it's in a more reasonable spot. Pop you down like that. Yeah, that seems fair. Get this back down over here, over the bin. Yeah, sure, that, that makes sense. Uh, and how about some hand sanitizer? Some plants. Get some plants down first. Put you over here. Get this one down over here. Again, more plants for our janitors to clean, right? And uh, how about uh, how about some posters? Let's get the, uh, the DNA poster. That's romantic, right? Pop you down over here. And leave it at that, I suppose. That's a decently prestigious dorm. Took a lot of our money. Took a lot of our money. But hopefully that works out, and hopefully it fulfills various uh, personal and relationship goals as well. Now that's that's extra. Uh, that's that's extra um, work, extra expenses. But this is what we have to do. So maybe I should. Yeah, it can wait. It can wait. Let's go ahead and get this done first, because uh, I do think, again, as many of you pointed out. This is just over overkill. This is just overkill. Like right now, the prestige is at three. If I go ahead and edit you, how bad could it possibly get? If I put the door down over here, keep these here. I don't mind that. Oops. That's not. There we go. Can we go ahead and try that again. Uh, move you over here and shift you over to 
here. I'm okay with keeping those here. We're gonna go ahead and move you back to here, move you over to here, like right by the entrance. We have the hand sanitizer as well, of course. We don't necessarily need that in this room, to be honest. It's a bit of overkill having hand sanitizer literally everywhere, um, because our, 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 our students aren't literally always filthy, but it felt like the, the right call. So I wanna get rid of all this up to here. Um, make it a lot smaller. It goes down to Prestige 2 from the 3 it was at, right? I could probably add something in here. Um, food groups poster. I mean, they, they are teaching about, uh, about, uh, about food. Oh, what about nice big window? Or perhaps two. There we go. Good stuff. Much better. So that's one private tuition room. Why don't we go ahead and duplicate that and pop it down over... Why do I need to sell that window? Oh, right, because there's two windows overlapping. That's fine. Put another one down over here. We'll have to fix this up, of course. But uh, I'll shift you over. And let's get that in as well. Cool. Yes, sell that uh, window. That's fine. And this way we have more students getting tutoring at a time, right? And then hopefully that'll help our overall uh, marks and stuff like that. We could probably also reduce the size of this library a little bit. Like I said, we're going to be doing a bit of uh, remodeling as uh, as we like come to realize, you know, just how much we've overdone some of these spaces. Uh, so let's go ahead and adjust you like so. You can probably already tell what my plan is here. Put and shift you down like so as well. Good stuff. And then buddy over here. So prestige seven. I don't want to lose too much, obviously, but go back to there. Oh, that's gonna be all right. The gr the grid is a little funny like that. Do I? If I move you two steps down, I would like to get that third uh, row as well. I do that. You as well. And I shift you. Ooh, that's actually tight. All right, how about this? What if I put you down there? Put you down there and put you down there. There we go. I think that's good. A little packed, maybe. Maybe a little tight. But we'll, 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 we'll play by ear. So, okay with that, yes. That is down to level six by a significant margin, actually. I might have to be okay with that. I might have to be okay with that. Chaotically organized, good stuff. Just a little concerned about... The thing is, again, we have a lot of students entering third year right now, so that means we're going to see new requests for um, assignments. And that's why I want to be a bit more careful about kudosh expense right now. Um, and I'm, I'm like that mainly during the earlier part of this campaign, don't worry, as we move forward, and as more of the uh, baseline stuff has been unlocked, uh, I'm going to be a lot more... Let's call it frivolous with the uh, with the kudash. So don't don't worry on that front. We can't put you down over here. Just wondering, do I like duplicate you and pop you down like so, perhaps, and line that up nicely? How much does that actually help? Oh, a fair bit actually. That's not too bad. How about uh, another bookshelf? Probably won't do us too much help. Probably not. We can get some windows in. I keep forgetting windows. I don't know why. I love natural light. I saw one comment. It was like. To get more windows in, natural light is good. And, I'm, uh, and I was just like, I agree. I love natural light. How am I forgetting to put in windows? It's like every room, but that's good. I got our prestige up. Uh, so let's go ahead and leave it at that. Excellent. We can move the uh, sweet kitchen over. Go ahead and pick you up and shift you over. Just redecorating the entire uh, space here. Scoop you up, pop you down there. A bit of distance between repeated items, of course. And the central areas could use some beautifying as well, for sure. We'll get into that uh, more and more as we get further and further along. So now we need another savory kitchen, which is one of these, and a science lab. Should I reduce the size of the savory kitchen? Could do. I could shift some stuff over. I could get you down over here, right? I could get you down over here as well. Come on now. There we go. Uh, I think that arrangement makes sense. We still have you next to the chopping table. Why don't we get uh, these guys? Maybe we don't need them, actually. A lot of It's a lot of uh, plants. I'm not necessarily avoiding buying an additional plot, but I just want to make more efficient use of some of our space um, before I before I get to that uh, get to that step. Also because I mean we don't have that much money. We don't have that much money. I do want to be able to pay that loan back sooner rather than later. Uh, this should perhaps be... Here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll go ahead and move this window. It's very expensive remodeling. I'm glad it happens for free. Go ahead and edit. Uh, you please. Go ahead and scoop you up. 
drift you down to here. Oh, keep you there. Would like to select the hand sanitizer, please. The hand sanitizer, right? That was a misclick. Nah, <laughs> that was a misclick. Alright, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, the hand sanitizer, though, as I was saying, I do want to have uh, in this room. I think it makes sense. Actually, why don't we... The collision box on this thing is just a little bit too big. Not a fan of that. I was going to say, why don't we shift everything over a bit? Again, it's getting a little tighter over here, but it'll save us a lot of space um, overall. And I'll make some adjustments as well shortly. Let's go ahead and get rid of you, is what I'm thinking. Come on. There we go. Wasn't letting me highlight for, for, for some reason. Oh, I see why. Because that door... Okay, that door needs to extend open that way. Fair enough. So let's go ahead and re-add these. Shift you over to here. Makes sense. Bring this poster over to uh, here next to the, the the recipe book. I think makes more sense. And yeah, that saves us a couple of spots. Maybe I'm maybe maybe I've made a whole big deal of about nothing, but it does save us a couple of spots. I could pull you a bit more in, sort of like that. And we can probably remove a couple of spots over here too. Makes it a bit tighter. Pull you back to there. There we go. Just trying to find a nice sweet center spot for it. Put it at that cell, three invalid items. No, I'm not okay with that because I want to, why are you invalid? You're not invalid. You're very valid. I don't know why it wants to sell those. All right, fine, sell them. Sell them, go ahead and pick you up and drop you off over here. And let's add those windows back. A couple over there, let's get a couple over here as well. Significantly less prestigious room now. Uh, all good, all good. I'm sure we can get something to help with that. Again, we can get more duplicates as well. We can get the mixing station, we don't have one in here. We can get a mixing station maybe up over here. That'll help tremendously. And we can also go ahead and get, uh, let's see, another washing station. Helps with hygiene, I guess, in a way that's more logical than the the uh, <laughs> hand sanitizer. I wonder if, can't fit it up there, because these are all nudged over just ever so slightly. We're so close to getting a six. I would like to at least be at six, you know, without just slapping a bunch of windows down. Maybe we'll leave it, leave it be for now. We'll get a spice rack or something later. Fix invalid items, right? That's because we've got these guys in the way over here. Could actually get you over here, get you over here. Don't love that. Sure, let's do that. All right. It's okay. I'm wondering about some of these downgrades. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if I love that downgrade all that much. We'll see. We'll see how I feel about it after uh, after this coming year. I might want to I want to upgrade these again when we have again more of our own money to to spend on uh, to to spend on uh, building and, and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and get the other savory kitchen in here. I'm thinking we need a science lab as well. So the science lab is how big? Five by five. The savory kitchen is six by six. So let's get the science lab in here. Should be ah, just too small. Just too small. Okay, five by five or six by six. Uh, cancel room, yes. Do I nudge both of these over then? Go ahead and scoop you up. And pull you one over. That should be okay. Go ahead and scoop you up as well. If only remodeling stuff was this easy in real life. I'm surprised we got this library up to a level 7 prestige, by the way. That is a packed and efficient library. It also only has room for 12 students, so we might need an additional library soon. That's the problem with shrinking these things. Um, can I just, can I? We need one more, eh, one more. And I can fit the exact same thing. I was like, do I give the um, sec or the first and second year students worse facilities or do I uh, do I give them the same facilities? And I, I, I kind of want to give them the same facilities to be honest. Do that, <laughs> buddy's shocked. What just happened? Put you over there, go ahead and get you over to here. Here seems like a more suitable spot, and now we can just go ahead and duplicate you. Pop your room, pop you down there. Excellent. Very expensive. See what I mean? All right, good stuff. Hopefully the science lab is 
probably gonna be too much. Oh, we can just barely afford it. Okay, good stuff. Got the science lab in here. <laughs> It'll be a very minimal science lab for starters. Pop you down, go ahead and pop you down over here. Go ahead and get this board up over here. Cool. Again, this is after we've hired all of our uh, teachers and everything, so at least there's that. I could get the experiment station set up as well. Wondering about prestige, right? 3500. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's get the uh, let's get the experiment station up over here, and let's get the um, science shelf up over here. It's relatively cheap, right? Taking a bit of a risk. This is the thing with small rooms. <laughs> I'm having some regrets. I'm having some regrets, but I think we'll be okay. Um, just trying to figure out if I'm a, if I if I want to really have those two. You know what? Not for starters. Let's go ahead and sell those. Uh, let, let's say let's have at least 10k in the bank, uh, and then we'll 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 get some upgrades going. Maybe we'll wait until students have some requests as well. Let's go ahead and build that as well. That is everything built. Took our sweet time, yes, but we got it all done, and I'm pretty pleased actually with how this is all laid out. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how this is all laid out. Eventually, we can add some more stuff to the Savory Kitchens to get them up to that level 6, hopefully during the academic year, so we don't have to worry about... Uh, or, or so that we can once more reclaim the uh, Campus of the Year award, right? Otherwise, we're looking good. Let's go ahead and start the year and see how it goes. What's our profit loss looking like again? Oh, boy. Not as high as I would like. Not as high as I would like. But there's all the XP bonus coming our way as well, right? Let's go ahead and start the new year and see just how it goes. Student intake, 17. It doesn't actually say here what our total student count is going to be. Hang on a second. What if I go over to here? There we go. 13 plus 16 is 29. It's written right there. We're going to add another 17 to it. Yeah, what what was going on? What did I what did I misunderstand in that previous screen that led me astray? Either way, not the end of the world. I was hoping for 50 students, but we're obviously not getting that. Uh... We're obviously not getting that. 45. Edit you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There you go. We are getting that. 450 for tuition. Versus 405. Hold on here, folks. Hang on here. 450. Yes, he doesn't update over here unless I confirm. That feels a fair sight better. Again, sacrificing that average learning rate a little bit, but that's okay, I think. I think this is the right call. We'll go ahead and start the next year for real now. Uh, there's nothing we can actually afford with the 15 course points that we want to afford. So let's go ahead and begin. Year three is here. Oh, you can see some of these are densely packed times of the uh, the year, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the timetable. I keep calling it calendar, but it's a timetable technically according to the game. And uh, let's see. Yeah, we got some really densely packed... Uh, Pack times. I want to get. I want to get the. Uh, I want to get the the cook off scheduled in, nice and early before I forget. Savory Kitchen one, Savory Kitchen three. That's an un unfortunate naming uh, mishap. We can fix that obviously. Savory Kitchen one, the OG Savory Kitchen in November. To wrap the year up, we could have our uh, campus cook off. Right? DJ Sous Chef is always looking for the best student cooking. She'll visit the campus to give our students a chance at the prize as part of her campus cook-off competition. I think that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and schedule that uh, for... Yes, the... Can we do it then? Let's go... Let's... Yeah, we, we can't because there's the overlap. Let's do it there. So right after the class ends, we're going to have the cook-off. So no winter uh, like holiday party this year either, which I... Th think is okay. We'll have the uh, the spring mixer again. The annual, I guess, spring mixer, depending on who's hosting it. My only concern is, is that enough time for students to clear out and arrive and everything? This room itself is empty in October and November. So I think we should be okay. Let's go ahead and uh, and book the campus cook-off. We'll leave it named as that. We can rename it if we want to, but we'll call it the campus cook-off because it's an official objective. And let's book the event. Not too expensive. The reward is good, as long as we win. Let's hope our students win. Let's also go ahead and do a little bit of private tutoring management. Let's take a look at our students. We could, we could get uh, Forbes Factory over here, for example, some private tutoring, because I would like to um, get higher level students ready for the competition, right? And Violet Leotard is doing an assignment right now. 
get to private tuition. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll figure it out. The grades are good, but again, the levels matter as well. Once that's done, if we take a look at the, uh, the actual schedules, there's a couple of students who are free during the uh, early part of the early semester. We can send them in pairs, I guess, to get some private tutoring done, and that way we'll have... Uh, uh, that way we'll have... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? That constant flow of cash. That's the word I'm looking for. Alright, cool. Go ahead and resume now and take a look at our inbox over here real quick. Open day report. Good stuff. Almost perfect stuff, but just good stuff. I'll take it. All good. And that party, don't worry. It's coming, Perry Stud. It's coming. It's coming. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about how things are looking. Campus level is almost already at uh, 11, which is nice. My old friends catching up over here, looks like. That was seemed like a decent handshake. Yeah. A little meetup over here. There's the campus level up. Just hanging out. Just vibing, just chilling. Must be exciting coming back to school after having spent all your time next to each other over here. Oh, there we go. There's a little bit of jumping going on. I don't know if you could hear the the, the, the squeaking of the bed. That was pretty funny. Uh, what are we looking at over here? What are these requests? Waning Moon Wanted. That is an additional um, item belonging to the Power Nap Club. Boy, if we had one of these. Forget about it. Good night and sleep tight. Am I right or am I right? Jeez, Bobby Rang. What? <laughs> what are you saying, man? Herb Garden wanted as well. Um, it can wait. Unless unless more students like agree and, and pile in on that request, I think it can wait. Uh, do we have any tutoring going on? We don't just quite yet. You're coming through. So I'm curious to see how the distribution actually happens. There we go. Looks like they have been... They've picked their uh, locations. It keeps changing their numbering, so I'm curious. So you're in there, so who's going to go there? Buddy down there at the bottom? Who's currently, what, feeding himself? Teacher needed in private tuition room two. Why? We got somebody in here. Do we need someone in here? This is room one. And yes, we need somebody in here. We got Gil Kitten. I guess that's why there was the uh, the mix-up with uh, people coming through or, or not. And that looks like it's Gil Kitten, is it? Was he, like, right there? I think so. All right, buddy's gonna go in now, I should hope. After he has another bite of... What are you What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Get in there. Like, running out of time. I've told him to go for it. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure... Why they're not queuing up over here. Go ahead and send you again. Hmm, not sure. Uh, we got a cheesy goblin coming back once more for a food inspection, it seems like. Yeah, this is very confusing. I feel like the uh, the teacher leaving at the same time broke things over here. I, I can't uh, I can't figure out any other possible explanation. Simon Lillywhite, let's get you in here. And we've got a class without a teacher up over here. Go ahead and get... Where is our Penny Champion? Let's get you in there, Penny Champion. Oh no, Penny Champion's teaching here right now. Maybe we do need another teacher. Who do we have left? David Bilk. David Bilk is teaching in here right now. We do need another teacher. See, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. The game did not foresee uh, our tutoring happening. Oh, Julia Peters. Level four. Don't mind if I do pop you in there. And that'll have us covered. Yikes. Okay, good stuff. A little nerve-wracking stuff, if I'm completely honest. Uh, but we'll be okay. Science station required. All right. Waiting for those requests to come through. I knew they'd be coming, I just didn't know which ones exactly and in which order, but let's make sure students are able to do their assignments, obviously. And we have some money now, so feeling a bit better about that, obviously. Looking good, looking good. Students are coming through over here. I'm just not sure. Yeah, see now it says you're going up there. Is having multiple rooms just not going to fly? Or are you waiting for a teacher over here? Very confusing. Very confusing. Either way, tutoring has begun. Financially, we're looking okay, despite the weird mishap at the start there. You're level 12. Alright. Got somebody coming through over here. It's like the people I told to come here are being given a lower priority, and I do not like that. Do not like that. Let's go ahead and back back, back to the student list over here. We got two level 13, so that's worked out. Uh, Penelope Beetroot. Go ahead and send you in as well. Let's take a look at the timetable. Because uh, she actually has classes, so we can't send you. Uh, Neil Power, level 11. Mima Hulk, get you up to that level 11 as well. Forbes Factory, I believe, is already in there. Bobby Rang, just queuing some folks up. And we'll see as well 
how uh, how it all looks when we have so many people lining up for tuition. Because it does look like they wait out there and they sit on the benches, right? It looks like confirmation to me. But uh, we'll know for sure shortly. Where are all of our new students? I guess they all have classes already, right? Iron Hero. There we go. Get you, Billy Dynamite, and Archie Popper all in there. They're all level ones. Uh, so they should be able to gain XP rather quickly. And that should stack up to our... Uh, or add up, I should say, to our XP bonus earnings, right? This is looking all right, though. They're both waiting. They're both waiting. Yeah, that's all good. Let's see who else comes through. Campus cook-off is just a few months away. Things are feeling comfortable, though. I was a little worried for a second, but things are looking comfortable now. I could probably afford a couple of upgrades over here, in fact. I could probably get a couple of upgrades in here. Nobody's queuing up for anything, so we're good on that front. We are good on that front. I was wondering, like, that's always a good indication. It's like, oh, people are queuing up for a certain item, then I just add another one of those, and, and I do what, what is very clearly needed urgently. I could have a recipe station put down over here. Extra recipe uh, learning. Right by the door is kind of weird. Pop you in over there. Helps the prestige a fair bit. And we could also get one of these, uh, another one of these food groups posters right next to this. I feel like they make a, a reasonable pairing, right? Let's go ahead and match the same thing over here. I think eventually we'll want to design slightly different layouts for uh, different school, like different years. But the thing is, you can't, it doesn't really work that way. I can't say, oh, only allow year one students in here or anything like that. At least as far as I've seen. It would have been nice because it would be, you know, it would, it, would, it would give you that extra touch of customization. Uh, but no such thing, it seems. Oh, what are those, what are those, what are those for? All those trophies went up. Not sure what that was about. I'll uh, leave it be. Do we need another assistant over here? Because this has been... There's nobody There's nobody been here since forever. Let's actually, before I forget, get uh, Rich Asparagus hired. Where's our library? Over here. Let's go ahead and increase the number of staff we can have at the library. And let's get Rich Asparagus in there because they seem... Well, like the right call, right? 15% learning boost. Don't mind if I do. Pop you in here. That's two people working in the library at the same time now. And let's go ahead and get who else? Right. We wanted one more assistant for down over here. Again, remember, these people have downtime as well, right? They take breaks in the staff rooms and stuff like that. So important to have, like, backup, so to speak. Get you working over there. Because there's a lot of students who want to join a club, but I don't think they can join the club that they want to join. And that's why they're uh, still, you know, hoping for an opportunity. How are we doing over here? Doing all right. Doing all right. Doing pretty good, actually. Doing pretty good. Getting A's. Can't complain about that. Let me actually check something here. How are we doing? Our first years. Ooh, uh, a couple of C pluses. Oh, no, there are a couple of Fs. What are you doing? Oh, you know what? They missed their class, didn't they? No, they didn't. Oh, it just counts as an F because they're only just now arriving at, uh, at tuition. So it registers them as an F, even though they haven't done any classes. Byron Hero and Albert Thumper, though, are actually in a bit of trouble. So we'll have to keep an eye on them. Average student entertainment has dropped down. But once we get the uh, the spring mixer going, that, that'll pop right back up. And we'll be okay. I could host a... You know what? Why don't we do this? Why don't we host a movie night? Um, go ahead and add an event. Another funny film. Uh, schedule this for when? I guess we'll schedule it for, hmm, the end of December. Why not? We'll make it like a winter film festival kind of a thing. Um, yeah, you know, that's what it'll be. All the students have their own short films or something. We're going to call this My Name is Chef. Uh, and this is a reference to something in the comments of the previous episode that I absolutely loved. And so, yes, My Name is Chef. Uh, that sounds like the title of an art film also. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, we're going to go with that. It lasts only the one slot. I think that's fine. 4,000. I think that's okay. It'll make people happy. Uh, and we might get that star right at the end of this um, calendar year. So book that event. Yeah, that feels good. Also, I, I didn't want to wait too long to get the name. My name is Chef in there. How is this campus looking, by the way? Not very attractive. Not very attractive at all. Um, not that. I want this. Thank you very much. Go ahead and get some more benches in. No. I would like, I would like, I would like decorative elements over here. Fountain of Knowledge. Mm. 
Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look very good, does it? Pearl of Wisdom. None of this stuff, I mean, some of this stuff fits in the interior, I suppose. It's just plants. We're just going to have more plants everywhere, aren't we? We need more variety at the very least. Pop you over here and over here. There we go. Just even, even a little bit goes such a long way. And put you on either side of this. There you go. And, oh, can't fit. All right. Pull you over this way then. Yes, misaligned, but that's okay. That was only until we had more stuff filling some of this space out, right? Pop you over there. There we go. Good stuff. Much better. Look at that XP bonus. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're. I'm feeling very good about uh, about about how we're how we're doing. Feeling very good. Uh, this doesn't feel like it belongs in the halls, you know. Not much else really does that we already have unlocked. I could get like rugs and stuff, sure, but I think uh, I think we'll leave it at this for now. Decently pleased with the uh, the the bump we got there, and I could actually take a look at the um where do we go waning moon. Oh, I have to unlock it with Kudosh. 11 people agree. All right, fine, fine. That's a pretty big push. That's a pretty big push. We have 105 Kudosh. Why don't we get that in there? I wonder if I want to put it in the same spot or what. Where are we? Waning Moon. Go ahead and unlock and place. Yes. And again, we'll have access to it in the future as well, right? This does not belong here. This does not belong here at all. Uh, if anything, this belongs maybe... Ah... Uh, like out over here or something. It looks rather cozy, actually. If this is a comfy spot to like lie down in with a, you know, a couple friends and stuff and just hang out. It, it kind of looks comfy, um, but it, it actually kind of looks more like a culty. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, what's the, shrine? That's the word I'm looking for. Shrine. It looks like a shrine. Hmm. I mean, it helps with energy and it increases attractiveness, so I'm not going to complain about either of those things. Wow. Well, don't know if I like how that looks though. It looks very haunting. But yes, let's resume. That'll make a bunch of people happy. Uh, and we can always use more of that. Happiness is a little bit low right now. But, I mean, hopefully with the uh, the funny film, they'll be uh, they'll be feeling a lot better. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that, that item. I forget the name. Uh, many of you uh, had it for me in the comments. And, I, again, I appreciate that. Uh, if you ever have an answer, by the way, uh, to a question that I have or have not asked, uh, I welcome it. Just so you know, I, I, do, I do welcome it. I know some folks, uh, I know some folks don't. Uh, and, you know, different strokes for different folks, right? But I, I welcome it, personally. So feel free. All right, here we go. It's cook-off time. Hopefully, our students do well. Who do we have participating? Are you running late to the cook-off? Don't, don't do that. All right, who do we have participating? We got Erica Pound over here, level 13, A grade student. We have Forbes Factory, a level 12 grade A student. And we have a level 13 grade A Montgomery Weaver. So triple A quality over here, triple A quality. Let's hope for the best. And of course, this is Sue Chef here to actually judge DJ Sue Chef, drum and sea bass. My goodness, are you really here doing an assignment during a cook -off? during a cook off? It's there's a chewing the fat. Hi, oh, how could you, Harry Brown? How could you? You got to do what you got to do, I suppose. But how could you? All right, doing all right. What is this food junk? Clean up two bits of rubbish. Yes, we'll accept that before it goes away. There's that cheesy gubbins report doing all right, I suppose. Let's see how we do here. I think we'll be okay. Now again, it lasts for three check marks, making sure that we uh, pass or succeed, I should say. I don't think we're very likely to fail. Our students are pretty well, uh, pretty well educated and everything. They're pretty high level, and they're all high grade, high quality students as well. So I think we'll do well. But uh, anything could go wrong, right? Anything could go wrong. Oh, just <laughs> is that a hot dog? <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. It's really fun actually seeing all the animations. Even something as simple as chopping up a cucumber. Oh no, don't be tired. Don't be tired. Should have rested the day before. Doing alright? I guess they all just swap positions, eh? We're up over here now. I don't know what this is actually. I could I couldn't tell you. Is it like mashing? Various mashes like potato, guacamole, and tomatoes. Maybe maybe that's what it is, based on the colors I'm looking at. Not 100% sure. That's a blender? That's a blender. Interesting. Or a, or, or a chopper. <laughs> One or the other, but I saw some chopped mushroom fly up. There we go, well done! Your students won the campus cook-off. Easy like pie and tasty too. Alright, excellent. Now it's showtime. Kids are filing in for the... Uh, for, for my name is Chef. 
uh, which will be done shortly, and hopefully that'll bring the average student entertainment high up enough. That's actually gotten significantly lower than I'd anticipated. Uh, I was really hoping that the timing on this show right after that cook-off would have been perfect, but... But I might be wrong. What it is? What, 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 what are you? What are you looking for here? Microscope required. Let's go ahead and place that item. I need to keep an eye on this inbox a lot more than I keep my eye on uh, competitive cooking. Let's go ahead and put you. All right, we might need to adjust this room a little bit. Shift you over to here, like so. Tuck you against the wall there. Now let's go ahead and get that uh, that microscope. Where are we? Microscope required. Place you. Just, just because of the, the, the angled, like, hit box, you can call it at the back. I can put you up there, I suppose. And then we could shift you maybe up over here. Nah, won't fit. Put you over here instead. I just feel like they're a little associated, you know? Feels like it makes a bit more sense to me if they're if they're closer together. Don't like this line, alignment, though. Would much rather have that so it looks intentional right what else do we have a uh, quite a few requests it looks like we've got okay that's our statement crazy taxi machine all right i could definitely go for that i could definitely go for that um not enough kudosh 250 i've not played this before but the people i've seen playing it seem to have really flourished as people in the immediate aftermath as somebody who played a lot of crazy taxi i can i can attest to that i flourished after after my exposure to crazy taxi there's a bunch of kiosks that are wanted as well 100 kudosh a piece i think it's time to claim some of those uh, career goals and, and splurge a little. Because, again, the Crazy Taxi Machine and the kiosks, they're all going to be uh, used in future levels as well. The Herb Garden as well, and three people agree with that. All right. Oh, okay. Ramen kiosk, Crazy Taxi Machine. I need how much? 350 kudosh. A lot of kudosh. 350. Go ahead and get uh, you. I can go ahead and get you. I can go ahead and get... You and you. And a few more. But again, I try to temper myself so that I don't uh, tempt myself, right? That is not enough, is it? That's nowhere near enough. Campus cook-off result. There's our plus 2,000 and plus 4. Congratulations, one of our students won the recent culinary competition. We taught them everything they know, so really it's like we won. Of course it is. Exactly like that. Let's get the ramen kiosk first because 13 additional people are on board. And I don't want losing to a school in Flemington. So, yes, unlock in place. That's so expensive. But hey, ramen is good. Ramen is very good, so... Uh, no hesitation here. Do I drop you in here, or do I drop you over here like so? Kind of like mirror what's going on over there, right? I don't think that makes sense. Pop you down over... Here. Uh, let's go ahead and get a couple more of these benches. Pop you, pop you down like so, and like so. Uh, by the way, folks, I've been getting uh, a few comments with regards to, like, pacing and stuff like that. Those, as well, are also always appreciated. If you would rather not see me spend time um, laying out rooms in a game that's largely about laying out rooms, uh, I know that sounds rather, you know, contrary, but uh, but uh, but feel free to let me know, and I'll, I'll see uh, how I can adjust things and all that kind of all that kind of good stuff. I'm always, always, always looking for feedback. Um... Let's try this. Comic timing. Let's get you in there. Get you in there. I'm actually wondering if I should repay my loan now. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Feeling pretty comfortable. You are empty just because buddies over here, I'm guessing. Or, or... What happened over here? Why didn't you warn me before I put this down? There we go. Glad I checked. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure why this is empty right now. We'll keep an eye out on it, though. Uh, though I am wondering also if I shouldn't go ahead and improve the attractiveness of these spaces a little bit, because they're hideous, right? And uh, and why would we leave them like that? We could get a couple of trees in. We got the pear tree um, right in the middle. Won't fit. What about this? Uh, nope. Don't. Uh, not looking to spend money on trees right now. Not not yet. Not yet. Put you over here like so. No, it's invalid, it says. Come on now. There we go. How does that actually look, though? Uh, a little funny. A little funny. I don't like it. At all. Uh, what about uh, some more planters, perhaps? Really gotta unlock all these, eh? Alright, game. Have it your way. I'll unlock this one. I'll unlock this one. Let's go ahead and preview just to make sure. Like, the, the reach on that is pretty good, so... Hip one. Hip one. Yeah. 
and then I can do one, two, three. It makes sitting here actually, you know, pleasant. Pop you down there. Pop you down like that. There we go. Don't... The way items hover ever so slightly throws me off ever so slightly with their placement. Okay, like that, yeah. Go ahead and put you down here and here. Cool. Very, very attractive seating area there. Pop you guys down over here and here. Get all this done real quick. <laughs> the... Oh, God. Come on. There we go. It would drive me absolutely wild if I just accepted it and left it like that. It would drive me absolutely wild. Especially because I knew I could tell that they were misaligned. If I couldn't tell, I'd be okay, but I but I could. I could. There we go. Cool. And uh, this is a horrendous mess. What have I done here? Oh, my goodness. There we go. Pop you down there. Whoop. Go ahead and pop you over like so. That's better, actually. I, I promise you this won't be a regular recurrence. Uh, and let's go ahead and copy you. There we go. Is that... No, that is not lined up. Neither is that. There we go. Okay, perfect. That's good enough for now. That is a lot of uh, that's a lot of these plants. That's a lot of them. But you know what? It's going to make this space a lot nicer to sit in. We could also put down a couple uh, in the middle over here so it doesn't seem so, like, weirdly empty. There's stuff going on everywhere except for right down the middle. It seems a little strange. So there you go. That should make this space a lot more lovely, actually. It's, it's rather gorgeous now. Uh, I don't personally, as a human, love it. I'll probably go back in and uh, and make some adjustments because uh, it's yeah it's a little little repetitive but uh, for now it's okay I think for the students classes are about to start up again average student entertainment is really not that great and that's why we wanted the um, the crazy taxi machine among other things of course among other things student lounge party wanted as well as a student union party come on come on now come on you can only do so many. All right, well, let's go ahead and organize the uh, the spring mixer. Uh, this will fit 21 students. Why don't we go ahead and get another uh, bar? Copy you, copy down over here. Wow, ups the uh, the value. It'll still only fit 21 students, but I want to make sure we have enough uh, spots for them to you know get everything they want at. I'm wondering if I need to add anything else over here. Hopefully that'll be okay. Let's go ahead and schedule the SU party. Schedule event for end of March, or rather for all of April, I should say. And this will be the SU Spring Mixer once more. Uh, I've seen some name suggestions starting to come through. Uh, again, always welcome. I'm going to be noting them down so that when the opportunity comes to use them, uh, I will. And, uh, and 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 those are mainly for the parties. I've got some plans for uh, for a couple of different things, including like names of staff and students and things like that. But we'll we'll get into that once we're in the flow of the more challenging levels. I think maybe. I mean, that's my call. That's that's, that's how I think the best way to do it is. Let's go ahead and book this event. And uh, just like that, all of our money's gone. <laughs> and of course, then that pops up to scare me a little bit more. Uh, what are our students up to? A lot of these guys are just kind of chilling. I mean, maybe I should let them. Entertainment is is different from just pure happiness, though. So maybe, why don't we go ahead and take a look and see if I can't add maybe one more of these. Duplicate you to here while we're waiting for the crazy taxi one, because uh, we need a lot of kudosh for that. I think we'll need some side objectives accomplished for that. And uh, what else could I do for entertainment? What else could I do for entertainment? Um, nothing, apparently. Nothing. I mean, I guess I could get a payphone. How entertaining is a payphone? What? Um, it's pretty cheap. Fifty. Okay, that's not cheap if you consider it's a third of a of a of a test your strength machine. Wondering if I save up or not. I think I'd rather save up. I just I want to see if the students engage with some of these or perhaps you know even these. Like there's a lot of stuff for them to use for entertainment. I think it's just they haven't had the chance to do it. So. Maybe we should leave them with some free time because, of course, when we host an event, they run to the event and maybe a lot of people who were, who would have, you know, played elsewhere or something 
I ended up just going to the event instead. Still got entertainment, but uh, through a prescribed way as opposed to their own choice, I guess. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Feeling pretty good overall. Let's take a look at tutoring. Because I do feel like some students probably need some help. And we've uh, we've not helped them. Grades, I suppose. Zoe Gruff. I wish I could see their like timetable at like over here, you know? Free time. Energy is low. You, Ted Fast, what are you up to? Just idle. How are you feeling? Pretty good? Oh, you're feeling great. Why don't we go ahead and get you into private tuition and one more person, Forbes Thump. I wonder if we can get you in as well, because they probably, if they have a class, it's not until February, so they have enough time to get some initial help in. Billy Dynamite's not doing too hot. One C+, plus, a couple of B pluses, all all first-year students, of course. We'll get them queued up for, uh, for tuition as well, I think. We'll get them queued up for tuition as well. Just a couple of them. Very stud, now you're year three. Melanie Fromage. Yes, you as well. Oui, oui. Yes, you. All right, cool. Good stuff. What do we have over here? Student assessment. Yes, let them come. Frog rain is coming. I wish they would not come. Uh, otherwise, we're okay. The herb garden I could get. Four people agree. Cost 15 kudosh. Sure. Again, something we can use elsewhere as well, right? And and maybe... Maybe we could make this space a little bit more varied. I love that. I wish I could control Z. You know, I wish I could undo... Good old-fashioned undo. Let's put you over there. The lack of symmetry is, uh... Cool. Oh, something. Let me tell you. It's something. And here come the frogs. Oh, it's absolutely killing me. There we go. I was like, I know I can find a spot for them. Where it is, I'm not yet sure, but I know I can find a spot for them. Because again, if they're not actually placed, then unlocking them doesn't mean anything. That'll do the trick. Oh, but he's got to use the washroom real bad. Oh, he's moving real fast. When you got to use the washroom, you you move faster uh, in this game and in real life, of course. But uh, but that looked okay. Looks like we've got some tutoring going on over here. Yes, yes. Up your level. Up your level. Get me that uh, XP bonus. Because my monthly profit is certainly not working. Got an F grade right now. That's not ideal. But that's okay. You're extremely happy. So you should be entirely focused on your studies when your classes do start in February, as predicted. Yep. Had a feeling. Had a feeling. Looking okay, though. Buddy's coming through for his tutoring. All right. A bunch of people doing their assignments. Feeling pretty good. We have the party coming up. Ah, oh, 56%, eh? It's just we have so many students, I guess there's a lot more time to be, uh, to be bored. Like, I wonder if I should get... It just seems weird to have, like, a arcade system out over here, you know? Or any of these, really. It just seems weird to have an arcade system in the halls of a university. I, I guess I could get payphones. I guess those make sense. Are they entertaining because everybody points at them and laughs? Because who uses a payphone? Sure. Just to have something fitting in these halls. Pop you down over there. Um... Put one down outside the staff room, maybe. Sure, just spreading these out a little bit so uh, so they're, you know, available for use in a few different places. Can we put them outside? We cannot. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. And they're payphones, but all right. Uh, and a few, I think, where the student center is. That makes sense, right? Line them up like uh, like you would in a prison hall, I suppose. Let's see if students actually use those and and and, and increase their entertainment by any 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 vi viable amount. That's a lot of really bored, currently studying students. Oh, we got some people at least playing with the with the machines. I really, I think it's just a matter of leaving the free time, right? Leaving the free time. Go ahead and double time. I'd like to see this party go down and see if that takes us over the uh, over the edge there. Still feeling okay financially. Let me take a look actually at our loan. We're still paying for another five months. That's 10k that we're gonna lose. I could I could pay that off right now. Why take the uh, the monthly hit of 2k, right? Go ahead and repay that balance. Done. You guys are enjoying their new uh, shrine over here to their strange god of sleep, I guess, is what this is. It concerns me. 
it concerns me. But hey, if it provides energy and in increases attractiveness, like I said earlier, not going to complain. Ah, these guys are dancing over here. They're, they're done dancing. I just want to see. There we go. Entertainment go up. Earn some kudosh from uh, the open day report. Good stuff. Good stuff. Keep it coming. He's coming through. Grabbing a drink. <laughs> I'm like stalking all my students just to see them have a good time. I just want them to have a good time. How many can fit here again? 21 students. Hopefully 21 of our most bored students attend the party. I mean, quite a few of them are close. Come on, come through. Party's about to start. These guys are okay. Alright, some folks are arriving. Buddy's just taking a nap out here. I mean, even if they're down here, they're having a good time. That's fine by me. I, I would like people to attend the party, though, of course. Here we go. Here's our party. See that number of crawl up, hopefully, quickly. Damn, most of the people here are already pretty happy. <laughs> there we go, more coming through, more filtering through. Good stuff, good stuff. Meeting personal goals, 68%. Give me that one star. Come on, come on, come on. One more, one more. There it is. There it is. Oh my goodness. We've unlocked the next campus, Mitten University. Some of you will maybe recognize that name, actually. But Piazza La Natra, star rating increased. Do people really eat student cooking? How adventurous. They look a little blonde to me. Back in the oven, I say. Maybe I'll book a table when you've finished teaching them. So apart from unlocking the new campus, we've also unlocked the stage item. We've unlocked DJ Sous Chef coming through and throwing a party. Uh, and we've unlocked Funny Business, a new course as well. Now, the question is, do we want to actually chase that? Do we want to actually chase an additional type of course at this campus? Or do we want to keep it simple? and uh, continue to those next two stars with the next one requiring a county cook-off victory and a higher average hygiene rating. I'm not too concerned about the about either of these really, but can we schedule a county cook-off to happen this year? Um, let's see if we if we go to our options here, county cook-off. Yep. Go ahead and try and schedule it. Can we fit it anywhere? Savory Kitchen 3. I gotta make sure my highest level students aren't uh, aren't busy at the time, right? Where are my students? Level 15. So Pen Penelope, Beetroot, Montgomery Weaver, and Erica Pound. Penelope, Beetroot. Yeah, too late. Weaver would be free. And Erica Pound would be free. Penelope, Beetroot would have to sit out. But, uh... He is our highest level. That would be unfortunate for her. Let's go for it. Let's go ahead and uh, schedule the upcoming county cook-off for, let's say, let's say May. There'll be classes happening in other rooms, but Savory Kitchen 3 will be able to host the cook-off at the same time. It's right around the corner. Let's go ahead and give it some time so anybody who's at the party isn't rushing to arrive at the uh, at, at the cook-off. So book the event for the county cook-off. That should be nice and easy for us. And if we can get that average hygiene rating up to 70%, which I think, again, we should be able to do just fine. Uh, that'll be our second star. And then it's all a matter of the third star. Both of those and perhaps more happening next time, folks. Uh, as always trying to keep these an hour long but going overboard my apologies if you had a good time though don't hesitate again to hit that like button if you've been enjoying this series and you're not already subscribed maybe consider subscribing but this is where we're signing off we'll be back with the next episode on saturday again releasing at around the same time as this episode released today and then of course the episode after that will be on sunday again wednesday saturday sunday that's the schedule going forward uh if you have any thoughts on that or on anything else you saw or heard during this session let me know down below. But folks, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. So Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.